What's up guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to string a bass. And I, technically, haven't done this in over 10 years. Okay, so technically, this isn't very hard, so it shouldn't be a hard task for us to do. But first, you're going to need your materials. Strings. Wire cutters. Bass. I went with the Ernie Balls. Super slinky. That's the 45 up to the 100s. I like these because they give a nice light feel for stretching and pulling. Also, uh, they are round wound. Uh, I prefer flat wound, of course, like we all do. But I just wanted a cheap pair of strings quick to throw on this cheap bass. Uh, that's going to make it sound better because it just came with the factory strings on it. And uh, I want to change them up. So I got the Ernie Ball Super Slinkies. And then as far as my cutter here I have the Daddario I'm not sure if I'm spelling that right the Daddario Pro Winder um, I think that's backwards on the camera of course but basically it uh, winds and cuts strings so the winder on the end you get on there your tuner and uh, you can use it to quickly spin that sucker and then of course the wire cutters which is necessary so uh, without further ado uh, let's do this thing Okay, so changing strings is a very easy process. First of all, we're going to open up our string package, and they come in four different packages, of course, and they range from the 100 down to the 45, 45 being the smallest, 100 being the biggest, of course. So they're going to go in that order on your guitar or bass, uh, large to small. And then um, the way you take them off, of course, is you just turn the knobs here, loosening the strings. You'll see the string get looser and looser until, of course, you can take it off and you just pull it out the bottom and you put them on opposite. And so I will loosen these up quick and we'll kind of shorten the process here. I'll cut to it. Now, while you have the strings off, this is actually a perfect time to clean behind the strings, which is normally kind of a hard task. So I made sure to clean that off while I was here. I'm using the Ernie Ball instrument polish. It actually comes with a, the rag and the polish for about $5.99 on Amazon. So that's a great deal. Pick it up if you're on there. Um, I definitely recommend it's a great polish. Leaves a nice feel to it and protects it. I've uh, been playing it quite a bit with a pick and with my fingers and it hasn't left fingerprints or pick scratches. It's doing very well at protecting the base. So I definitely recommend. Okay, with my bass strings, I'm going to start smallest first and go up to larger. Um, I'm not sure if everybody does it that way, but that's just the way I like to do it because um, when I'm sitting here, it's easier to do them one at a time furthest away and then closer. So I'm just going to run it through the bottom the same way I, I took it out. Okay. You pull it till it locks in. Run the string up. Then you're going to want to leave it kind of loose because you got to wind it on there. I'm just going to uh, put this up here and then wrap it one time to start it. Now you want to make sure you wrap it. At least this is the way I do it. I wrap it where the string comes down on the top side so it doesn't get in the way of the other strings. Now bring in quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I wrapped it over top here to where it comes out furthest away from the other tuners to make room. Because if you were to have it come in, it gets very close. So when you're doing that, you want to make sure you're turning it the proper way. And for me, that's turning upwards. I turn up, and that's going to turn it the proper direction. I'm by no means a pro here. All right, so I've totally started doing it the incorrect way, <laughs> if there is a correct way. But I'm getting the strings on here slowly but surely. Definitely not a professional, so don't look at this for uh, 
professional advice or any type of professional tutorial. I'm just an average guy putting on strings very shittily on my new bass. Which I guess can be comical, you know. Maybe something good for you guys to watch. For me though, I mean, golly, I can't put these strings on to save my damn life. And this thing here is pretty clumsy. This Dior D thing or whatever. Diodoro. Diardio. Diardio. Trying to speed up the process. I mean, it does work. It's just really fumbly. If they would have made it like maybe out of a rubber. Or something that gripped a little bit better to the tuners, I would, I'd like it more. I think. All right, guys. Slowly but surely, we got all four strings on here. They look good, from what I can hear. Sound good. We're gonna have to tune them quick, and then I will show you a before and after with the strings. Let's check it out. Okay. So I'm just going to do a couple simple riffs so you can see the before and after. This is the before. These are the factory cheap strings that I have on here right now. So I'm going to do a couple different types of rhythms and types of playing so you can see what it would sound like, okay? So these are the cheap factories in a sort of jazz situation. I'm not very good at jazz. Either way, this is a little bit of a rock situation. A little higher up on the fretboard. take a look at the new strings okay I'll try to play the same three riffs now Alright guys, so overall, I really like the Ernie Balls, Super Slinky. I think they sound great, and for some reason, it actually sounds louder now than it was before. I swear I didn't touch anything, and it's noticeably louder to me. So I don't know if the pickups are picking it up easier, or what could be the situation. Um, I've had to tune them a couple times since I put them on, which is normal. Uh, as you put them on, uh, something I do is I'll stretch the string a couple times, because usually if you tune it and then you stretch the string a couple times and go back, it's slightly flat. So you'll have to adjust and tune a couple times as they adjust and stretch because these are new strings from the factory. So they're going to take a while to break in. Uh, but if you keep them clean and you keep your bass in a nice um, storage, like uh, in a gig bag or something, in a cool... Um, decently temperatured area these are going to last quite a long time so i definitely recommend the ernie ball super slinkies um and the ernie ball instrument polish i like them both as far as the diardio um wire cutters they were a bit expensive because i didn't really like them very well um diardio or however you say it they did cut the wires well they did um the the tuner knob here for tightening it is handy because it makes it quicker, but at the same time it slides out of there pretty easy because it's plastic, like a cheap plastic. If they made this out of like a rubber or a silicone, I bet it would grip onto the tuners better 
and be a little more practical. So I don't know if they could change that or not. Um, but these are pretty good. I would maybe get a cheaper set next time. Uh, just something generic that can cut wires because I can turn the tuner knobs myself if I had to. So uh, that's the string video. I know I probably wasn't the best example, but I got the strings on here, didn't I? So we got it done. But yeah, that's how you string your four string bass guitar. And this is actually the same one you guys seen me do the unboxing video the other day. This is my Glary GP bass. Um, if you like the bass, go check out my other video where I did the unboxing and the review. But this is a variable, uh, a variable. This is available on glarymusic.com for $79.99. Uh, I highly recommend this bass, and now I highly recommend the strings mm. as well. Um, and uh, one more thing, I wanted to talk about this tuner I'm using. I got this tuner for 10 bucks on Amazon, and it's like super cheap, uh, Chinese made. It's a Wingo Music. Um, but this tuner has been very good to me. Um, it tunes quickly and easy. It has a, a multicolored screen that turns red to green depending on where you're at and uh, blue as well. And you can just plug right into it or it picks up and it also comes with the vibration mic. If you don't have input and you don't have an electric bass or guitar, you can clip it onto your uh, head here and it will pick up the vibrations and tune your guitar that way. So it's actually pretty nice for 10 bucks. As far as Amazon runs, I recommend that very much. Uh, the polish I did get on Amazon, but that's available in Guitar Center and other stores as well. And the Ernie Ball Super Slinkies are available at your local guitar store as well. So. Um, whether you get it on Amazon or local, I definitely recommend. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that bell if you want to see more in the future. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.